It's all going to be heavily regulated. It's all going to be controlled by Amazon. The underground's not going to go away. What is up, everyone? It's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. ASMR spritz of intelligent elephant carbon. Check it out in the description below. Coupon code Russo. I'll leave you with the spritz. Ooh. 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 Keep on code Russo. Check it out. Today, I'm going to be doing a black pilled video. What I think is going to happen to the supplement industry and overall in general, what I'm seeing play out as far as history is concerned. So the supplement industry has always been the wild west. I've always been a fan of the supplement industry. I've been a fan of bodybuilding ever since I was a little long distance runner. So I've always been a fan of bodybuilding because I like the innovation in the supplement industry. And I like that, you know, I'll relate it to cartooning as I normally do. I'm really into tuning cars, pushing the limits of cars. Yes, the cars could blow up, but we also find harm mitigation on the builds create the most longevity out of the build but get way more power performance pushing the bar bodybuilders push the bar of what is possible as far as testing out new compounds testing out new diets testing out mixing and matching different things as far as should we be doing this type of exercise should we be doing this type of cardio bodybuilders are pushing the limits on their narcissism for their vanity and then it trickles down into the normal population hence why soccer moms drink protein shakes some soccer moms take um cbd some soccer moms even take fucking kratom these days right we have had the trickle down effect from bodybuilders and supplement people finding the new latest and greatest thing or finding the cutting edge thing or finding the gray area thing and it all trickling down for the betterment or worse of the general population point being the performance is being pushed in the supplement industry or was over the years the fda has really gotten a hold of the supplement industry and overall i think black pill tinfoil hat that amazon will choke the industry dead there will be no innovation of supplements left to sell supplements you will have to list them on amazon Oh, well, what's the big deal with listing them on Amazon, Ryan? Everyone lists them on Amazon. Well, if you know anything about Amazon, right, they're going to let you list the product. They're going to sit there. If your product does well, guess what? Amazon could copy your formula, make more of it. Like what I study, I didn't study, you know, biochem in college. I studied information systems, programming, information technology, networking right? I'm into systems. So as far as Amazon is concerned, they have all your analytical data of all your customers. They have the entire formula. They have how many units you move each month. They have the cost of the unit. They'll go with more money than you have because they're fucking Amazon, right? And then they'll copy your formula. They'll then change the algorithm on the search. So their shit pops up first after collecting all your analytical metrics. And yeah, they they give you a little bag, copy your metric analytics, then they fucking shove your product at the bottom of Amazon and they place theirs, which is a direct copy, or maybe it's a, maybe it's a better tweak, right? Boom, all your customers, unless they are brand loyal, you know, they OG Russo people, right? They come back each time he gets canceled. Same thing goes for these hardcore brands. Unless you're a hardcore, you know, brand diehard, you're probably going to just go and buy Amazon's replacement. It's probably going to be price cheaper, probably going to be, you know, some fancy thing on the search rank that entices you to buy their shit. This is going to start happening as the next 10 years plays out. Amazon's going to rip the supplement industry a new one, in my opinion, choke out a lot of the entrepreneurs in the supplement industry. And oh, you guys follow me. You guys are into hardcore biohacking information. You guys are into hardcore pharmacology. You guys are into cutting edge compounds that are life changing that will never see the light of day in the mainstream but could poise tons of benefits and i have been written paragraphs and paragraphs each month thanking me for shedding light on some of these compounds or thanking me to still open my mouth in 2022 to provide you guys with raw information that exists on this channel so please thumbs up and subscribe basically what's going to happen if you have a hardcore product and you go to list it on amazon amazon's not going to let you list it well how are you going to compete against amazon Amazon if they won't let you list the products. 
you'll do your own e-commerce website, and you'll do influencer marketing. Well, my Instagram has been canceled over Elevate again. So that is a borderline compound, right? No matter, I present the IRS tax filings of Elevate and check out Elevate in my description if you want testosterone, you want professional medical oversight, and you want access to these compounds. Completely free, risk-free 30-minute consultation. I was advertising that on my Instagram, 32,000 real followers. It's not even close to the reach I get. The reach I get is the equivalent of a count, in my opinion, with like 6,000 followers to 12,000 real followers. So, so that influencer marketing is nuked. I'm sponsored by Gorilla Mind, the best supplement company company currently in existence in my opinion well guess what every time not every time but most of the time again over these past couple months i have posted on my story just gorilla mind completely straight edge fda approved products completely normal supplements posted on my instagram boom reaches nuked after i post a sale they could just completely nuke all of influencer marketing whenever they please and they already have been choking it out is what i'm getting at that that leaves you with, huh, you could sell on Facebook. Your Facebook ad manager could potentially get locked up. Your Facebook ad manager could potentially be suppressed. One of my only friends left around here in Pittsburgh is an ad buyer. His name's Alec as well, with a C, not a K. But Alex, a media buyer, you know, he will run Facebook ads. If I ever did e-commerce shit for you guys, he'd be my go-to as far as getting a bigger reach on Facebook. And he'll let me know that he goes through you know, five, six, seven, eight ad accounts. He gets his swipes banned over like clothing and stuff, let alone supplements. So I'm saying for seeing in the future is they're going to close all these methods of marketing and ruin the free market. And then Amazon is going to become this regulatory thing where you can only list your product. And if your product's popular enough, they're going to rip it off. They're going to come in with a better price. And then they're going to change the search algorithm to shove your shit off the first page after they hijacked your shit with all your data networking analytics with all your customer analytics the location of every single fucking customer that you bring to amazon you're playing a losing game biohacking is becoming very mainstream as far as the high schoolers that are coming out will be fully educated in my opinion more than any generation before on enhanced bodybuilding enhanced pharmacology even my penis enlargement content it's all out there to be consumed they have been plugged into this matrix system the most longer than me two second attention span content has plagued their mind all of their adolescence and they will be going into this world with an alternative reality aka the metaverse being very present the metaverse can change someone's life like that and the metaverse can be taken away from you <laughs> Mr. Cancelled like that. Russo the Roach, I'm still fucking here, guys. I see this new generation of young guys looking to get into enhancement, most likely. Now, this has been going on forever, not new, but not with this level of education, not with this level of access, right? Because when it was in my day, you had a couple gurus that would like kind of reveal some shit, but they they didn't they don't want the crosshairs put on them. Nowadays, especially with TikTok, which can't be right regulated in the United States, in my opinion, is a Chinese propaganda machine to, again, destroy society in the United States. And there, there's constant cyber warfare. I'm not pointing fingers at China per se. I'm just saying it's a Chinese company that's nuking big tech. They're going directly against big tech because big tech is going against them using political. It's, it's all a bunch of bullshit as far as, you know, they're going at each other in cyber warfare in these metaverses. Well, all the enhanced bodybuilding pharmacology is out there you have tons of adolescents now making the jump into enhancement more than ever before while the fda and everyone is trying to regulate the normal supplement industry this is going to lead to the underground exploding unless TRT becomes more mainstream, which with my TRT franchise that I promote, you know, there's a lot of people waking up. There's a lot of people signing up for Elevate, thanking me each month. But unlike what most people propagate on the internet, I am not a testosterone mill. You know, we are denying a lot of people under the age of 26 and a lot of you are applying under the age of 26 rightfully 
with extremely low endogenous levels. Now, I don't have time in my day to, you know, see and try and work with some of you guys with 300, 250 endogenous level. It seems like there's a lot of other males who played video games. They didn't go out. They didn't play around as a kid. They did not grow up as a boy to male. You know, they played locked in the metaverse, competitive gaming, Twitch, and that ruined their trajectory as far as hormones because again epigenetic environment for hormones as much as people think that i use the example if you put yourself next to a bunch of prisoners and then people come to me with this study showing that oh not all prisoners testosterone levels are skyrocketed so i'll use an example straight out of my fucking life a comparison to prison because that's probably the most extreme reality and it might not even work so let's use the wrestling team so i wrestled in western pennsylvania in the 145 pound weight class to which I took fourth in the Whippeal. I My mom has a picture of me on a podium somewhere. And then I was, I could have won the 138, definitely could not have won the 152, but very dominant in the 138 pound weight class, extremely dominant. And then, you know, I was up there in the 145 pound class, 145 pound class, got some monsters in it. I wrestled a couple state champion dudes and got my ass handed to me, but the average 145er, I could nuke. You know, with Western Pennsylvania being one of the toughest states, I was not ever the top dog. I was always in like the top five. With our wrestling practices, it's a very male versus male, male hierarchy, masculine hierarchy, where you go in there, you're going to get your ass beat when you first join the wrestling match. Now, two things will happen, aka the fight or flight response, right? You'll adapt to the adversity you'll rise up, you'll create the epigenetic environment to, again, propagate, in my opinion, become a male, and then you'll progress in the wrestling room. That was me. When I came into wrestling, I got my ass handed to me. I would come out with black eyes and shit. I'd be slammed, my head be slammed off the mat. My first 10 matches, I got pinned in like fucking the first period easily and then shattered my ego. I rebuilt myself. And then overall, by the time I was done with wrestling, again, one of the top five in the Whippeal in Western Pennsylvania, one of the hardest states. And then definitely one of the top in 138. That's a joke weight class, I don't care what you say that was my trajectory your other trajectory could be the flight response where i don't like being beat up i don't want to rise up make myself tougher i'm gonna quit or i'm gonna sit there and sulk okay we had some of those guys on the team no one's gonna remember those fuckers names ah oh, andrew threw up the no one's gonna remember your name everyone is gonna die and no one is gonna remember you so fuck it Again, in my opinion, that's the way why I had such high natural testosterone. I was able to go through that. I was very happy that my dad put me in wrestling and had the shit kicked out of me for years on it. I feel like it strained me out a lot. And I feel like when I'm in an altercation, I'm not, you know, I'm calm, cool, and collected. I've been there. I've been in combat. I'm not like spazzing out with this beta ass energy that I'm faced with anytime I walk out these days. So with that being said, there's a lot of kids, again, their father never put pushes them down that path. They never experience that. They don't even know about that. They're just kids, right? They're going to listen to their father. Their father's a beta. Their beta father isn't going to put them in wrestling where he could get injured. Oh, you're going to go through life and then you're going to realize when you're 21, 22, your hormones endogenously are fucked. I still think they're recoverable, but this is going to be the predicament moving forward is you're going to have these two classes of guys. You're going to have boys and then you're going to have boys that become males. And this is going to get even bigger. And all my content has been derived around helping those people who are stuck in that situation because I think your 20s should be a fun time where you're getting pussy and you're selecting the best female for you long term and you're going around having options you've built yourself up and you're working on your status and your money, but you already got your physique started or you're getting your physique started right now and you're gonna turn to enhanced biohacking most likely when you jump in the rabbit hole online. This all being said, while the FDA is choking out the supplement industry and while Amazon is gonna put 
regulations on it, which is gonna leave you with all the sawdust products that, yeah, sure, protein does something. You know, I think Gorilla Mine has great straight edge products where the pre-workout's amazing. You know, the Turkestarin, whether you like it or not, for a lifetime natty definitely does some shit. And the Sigma is great for someone older recovering levels or for someone in that, you know, low lower echelon endogenous T-level could boost them up while they're getting back in shape and trying to build their body up. I'm saying is that if they start regulating all these products to an extreme degree and they start choking out influencers like me promoting these products and they're gonna rely on Amazon's regulatory board to regulate the distribution of supplements, which they're going to rip off all the formulas, it's already known. I foresee the underground as far as steroids, gray area exploding even more because that demand is not going to go away. And it's going to get worse for the better, meaning there's a lot of guys who are waking up realizing, hey, I'm not stuck in this spot. I can get out of this spot. I just got to work. It's not my fault. I wasn't enlightened in my teenage years on how this impacts my trajectory in my 20s. For all those people in that boat, they are now realizing, well, the 30 year old version of me will fucking be, it won't even be comparable. So they're going to do everything in their power. All the education is out there. How do you see this coming to a close? I just want to throw out some black pilled future telling because it's all going to be heavily regulated. It's all going to be controlled by Amazon. The underground's not going to go away. The underground's not going to go away with how masculinity is being attacked unless it changes. Are we going to let the normal superhero? get back in the movies? Probably not. I was bitching at Andrew. You know, Batman is one of my favorite motherfucking superheroes, right? You know, he's the bad boy, status, you know, the anti-hero. He don't play by the roles. He's a vigilante. My style. Now, I go watch that new Batman movie with that fucking Twilight fuck and it's like, I'm not gonna point out the specific propaganda in it because eh, it's not for the channel for it. I'll do it on the Black Pill channel but, you know, he's not like a super Superhero, it's Dobby Downer, depressive energy. I hate my old rich family. Like, that is nothing like Batman Begins. That's nothing like the Dark Knight. I get that, you know, the Twilight fucking have a different style on how Bruce Wayne's supposed to be. But I'm a motherfucker that read all the comics. Bruce Wayne's a bad boy that pulls all the birds, has all the money, and used it for good, right? He didn't sit there and just fondle in his wealth. He did some shit where this new Batman is making it all evil that he's in that predicament, making it evil that he's from that rich old family. And I don't know, if you're gonna continue attacking masculinity like that, there eventually will be a backlash and we will see in these next eight years. I'll see you guys in my next video.